Hey guys, on this rainy day here in North Carolina, it's rainy and just cold. Um, I thought maybe I would do a tutorial on how to do stitches, uh, the different kinds of stitches that they are. Uh, I'm gonna use a four millimeter hook and Crafter Secret yarn in yellow for this. Uh, now I'm a self-taught, well, I had an aunt who taught me when I was 10 to 12 years old how to crochet. And then from there on, I'm self-taught on everything. And I was thinking that maybe, maybe some of you out there may not know how to do it, what to do. And maybe I may impart a little bit of something that may help you on your crochet journey or learning how to crochet. So first thing, I am left-handed, but I do crochet right-handed. Um, so first, uh, we want to get our yarn onto the hook. Now, and you can uh, make a circle um, and, you know, do a knot and put your yarn on. But for me, I like to wrap my yarn around my hook. So bring it around. And then I take the tail, bring, cross it over, and then yarn over my hook and pull through, and that gives me a secure knot for my hook. Um, so now it's secure on the hook. Now to make a chain, oh, I like to, <laughs> I like to wrap the yarn two times around my finger, one or two times. Uh, this helps me to control the tension and to control, uh, to control the yarn. Uh, if you get, if your teaching is too loose, um, you may, you know, your chains may be too big or they're not even, not the same size. Uh, so if you, you know, use your, your left finger, left forefinger, just as a, 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 a tension to just control the tension of the yarn. Uh, and that's just how I wrap it around mine. I've seen people do different things uh, on how they control tension and how they hold the yarn. Whatever you're comfortable with then that's and works for you, then that's great. Um, because there is no set rule on how you have to hold a hook, how you have to hold your yarn. It's what works for you. And that's, that's fine. Uh, now, we're going to start with making some chains. To make a chain is very simple. The only thing you do, uh, I use my third, uh, second and third finger and my thumb of my left hand, and I hold the tail end of the of my yarn that's joined on the hook. Now, I yarn over the hook, and you pull through. That makes a chain. That's chain one. Yarn over pull through, yarn over, pull through. And if you just keep doing that and just practice of yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And before you know it, you are making chains. These are called chain stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, when you're working, when you start uh, to work stitches in your chains, you will never work, uh, you will always skip the first chain that's closest to the hook uh, because that's what your uh, yarn, you can see your yarn is moving in that. So you do not work in that that chain. That's a skip chain. You skip that. So I have 14 chains, which means I can make, I have 13 chains to work with. Um, so now first thing I'm going to do is show you how to make a slip stitch. A slip stitch is simple. All you do is insert your hook into the chain yarn over and pull the two hoops through. So insert into the chain, yarn over and pull through. That's a slip stitch. Now a single crochet stitch is a little different. You're going to 
go into the chain, yarn over, come back through one, and then you're gonna yarn over and pull the through two, pull the two through. So let's do that again. Insert, yarn over, come back through, and yarn over and pull through the two. And that's a single crochet stitch. And you can see it is already taller than the slip stitch. Now let's do a half double crochet. Half double crochet, you will yarn over, go through the chain, yarn over, come back through the chain. Now you have three loops on your chain. Now you're gonna yarn over and pull all three through. That makes a half double crochet stitch. Let's do it again. Yarn over, go through the chain, yarn over, come back through, yarn over, and go through all three. Now, as you can see here, you can see the height changing from slip stitch to single to half double. Now let's do double crochet. Double crochet, you yarn over, go through the chain, yarn over and come back through. Now you have three on three uh, loops like you did on the half double, but this time you're gonna yarn over and only go through two of the loops. And then you're gonna yarn over and go through the remaining two loops. And that's a double crochet stitch. And remember these stitches, uh, these are US stitch abbreviation, uh, the US stitch abbreviation guidelines. Now let's yarn over, go through, yarn over, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And, and, and the reason I said this was US stitch is because what we call a single crochet stitch, um, British uh, crochet guidelines, uh, a single crochet stitch for us is a double crochet stitch for them. Um, so I'm not sure uh, of all the different stitches, but their stitches are different than ours. So just remember that, that, that I'm given. Okay, so that was a double. Now let's do a triple crochet stitch. And triple is just what it sounds, three times. So for half double, uh, we, we yarned over and all three loops through. For double crochet, we yarned over and went through, we did two sets. For triple crochet, we are gonna yarn over two times. We're gonna go through the chain yarn over and come back through the chain. Now we have four loops on our hook. So we are going to yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. That's a triple crochet. Let's do that one again. So we'll yarn over two times, go through the chain, come back through and yarn over. You have four loops, so you're gonna do two at a time. And that is a triple crochet. And as you can see, I've done two triple crochet, two double crochet, two half double, one sing or two single crochet, and two slip stitches. And once you learn these basic stitches, then you can basically, you can teach yourself how to do anything in crochet because the, every, every stitch is just a variation of these stitches. Uh, you may do, uh, so once you learn the basic stitches, then you're just going to be doing the pattern. Then it's just a matter of learning how to 
how to read a pattern. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you and you will give crocheting a chance um, so that you can enjoy a craft that where you all you need is a yarn and hook and you can make some of the most beautiful creations there are. So I hope you have a great afternoon. Thanks.